Hi everyone, it's Ryan here again from Make a Scene, coming at you with a painting tutorial for one of our resin cast pieces. Today we're going to be painting the Tall Corner Ruins. This comes in our Ruins of Old bundle. I'm going to show you how to get it from looking like this to this. Let's get to the bench. So to start off I've got my ancient stone colour here which is just a mix of black and white to get a light grey base to start. Then I add a small bit of khaki beige and a tiny bit of yellow and this will give you a slightly off grey colour. And it's really simple, we're just going to put this all over the building. Now for the base, all I'm using is a burnt umber colour straight out of the pot, making sure to be careful when I get closer to all the stonework. You may find that you go over some of the smaller rocks on the base, but we'll be picking them out in the next step. Now to pick out the rocks and the bricks on the base, I've made a mix of black and white to make a darker grey than the one that we used for the stonework. For the wash it's just watered down black paint and all you have to do is cover your whole model in this. To pick out the vines I'm using XB88 by Citadel. Just being careful not to spill on any of the areas that we already painted. Now for the base layer for the leaves I'm using Lauren Forest and it's just a simple case of picking them all out in this colour. Now to wash the vines I'm using Biotan Green and this will bring the vines down from a brown and give them a nice green hue. Now to highlight the leaves I'm using Elysian Green and what you want to do here is paint either side of the leaf making sure you leave a dark green line running down the centre. And just to highlight the vines, I'm going to use a shabby bone, and this will bring out any details that the wash may have covered up. Now to finish up the base, I'm just going to use some PVA glue here. Any white glue will do. And I'm just going to put that around the model where I want my static grass to be, being careful when getting close to any of the stonework. Now that that's done, I've got a mix of World War Scenic's Summer and Dead Grass, and it's just a simple case of putting that around your model.
So there we have it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For a full list of paints and materials, they'll be down in the description box below, along with a link to our website where you can find all of our products and even commission information in case you don't have the time to do it yourself. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more videos and painting tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Here at Make a Scene, we love designing and making new terrain features for our tables like the one you've just watched. So if you'd like to support us further so we can keep doing what we love, you will also find our Patreon below.